In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create a polar array of 3D objects in AutoCAD. Here I have a wheel shape, and what I'd like to do is create a series of holes around the center here. So I'm going to begin by creating a cylinder that I could cut out. In my case, I'm just going to create a construction line from the center of the outer shape here, and I'll just come up one and a half inches. That will get me the center point for my cylindrical shape that I want to create. So next I will create a circle there. I do need to change my UCS though. My XY is flat. Uh, so I'm going to choose my three point UCS and I'll choose that end point as my start. This direction as my X and straight up as my Y. Now I'm sketching on that front plane there. Now I can go ahead and draw a circle at that location and I'll just make it a small one here say 0.3 and I can actually go ahead and erase this construction line now so now I can create my extruded shape I'll choose my extrude command so I've got to click my drop down since I recently used the revolve command and then I'm just going to extrude this cylinder through the part it doesn't really matter how far as long as I'm all the way through it so that I can cut it now one of the keys here is I don't want to cut this out yet because when I do this becomes one part. I want to create a pattern of this cylinder here. Another key is that when I create the pattern it's going to want to a center axis. So I'm going to have to specify two points. Normally in the polar array command you specify one point for the center. But since we're in 3D I'm going to specify two points. I'll go ahead and begin my polar array command here and I'll select the object to array and press enter. Then for my axis of rotation, I can choose the center point out here. Now one thing to note, because I had already changed my UCS, I only had to pick one point because it, the XY is there. So that worked pretty quickly. I only had to pick the one point, but let me back up here and show you that if I went back to the world coordinate system, it's going to want to array in the XY direction and that won't work. So I'll choose my array again and I'll select my object and enter. I'll pick the center point and as you can see, it's trying to go the other direction. So if you have your UCS changed perfect, you can pick one point, but since I don't in this case, I'm going to need to choose the axis option. So I'll select the shape and enter. I'll choose the axis of rotation and I'm just going to use my object snaps and pick the center of the front circle here and the center of the back circle that will find that axis running through there. Then of course, like with any other array, I can adjust my number of items that I want there. And keeping in mind that I want to subtract this, I want to make sure associative is turned off. That way these are each individual items. Let's say I forgot to do that and I left it as associative. I now have this as an associative array. It's one selectable object. AutoCAD will not subtract this. So if that happens, you just simply need to explode it. I'll go to modify and explode and I'll explode my array so that they are separate objects. Now it's just a simple subtraction. Subtract from this shape and enter. And then I'll rotate around so I can easily select all of these to subtract at once. And there you can see my end result with all of my holes cut out. So once again, the key on doing an array is either having your UCS set up properly, or if not, make sure that you choose the axis option and specify two points for your rotation axis. And then of course, if you want to use the union or intersect or subtract tools, you want to make sure that those are individual objects, not an associative array. That concludes this look at creating an array of 3D objects in AutoCAD.